You will never argue with Ruby on a set of one that I'm going to talk about. Welcome, welcome. Today I'm working on a hat. The hat is going to have ear flaps and little ties and the pattern is a free pattern from Pattern Paradise. It is Pattern Paradise, no, ParadisePattern.com, but it's Paradise-Pattern.com. And um, this so far this is easy. To work up, it is all half double crochet. Today, I'm kind of switching back and forth between Twitch and TikTok. I've been neglecting my twitch and then I was getting frustrated because the settings used to be where it automatically saved your live stream then you can edit it download it all this good stuff but I did like four sessions yesterday and none of them saved so then I went and researched that and apparently the settings got changed so I had to go and manually do that so it would save so irritating oh thank you I have these in my shop I believe I have these in my shop honestly I am not 100% sure but if you're ever interested in anything that you see in the background just let me know little baby Mr. Peanut that is a bookmark but you can always add a hook and um Oh, uh, you can't, oh, here's the shop name. So you can check it out. And if you do not see it listed in the shop, there's also a link there to email me. I have these in beige also. And I also have for dog dad. And then usually, um, I do offer uh, free shipping, I believe at $35 price point for the items you order. Um, but I was going to a lot of markets, so that's why I say I'm not 100% sure if I have this one listed. But it's easy, just email me, I can get with you on shipping cost and all that. And uh, these are about five. We can't really discuss money here, but... Um, Definitely email me. With the holidays coming up, I, I want to fill orders as soon as they come in so that whatever delays happen with the post office, it won't cause any troubles for my customers. I need to adjust my camera a little more. Oh, and I also have these little ornaments.
These are applique. These are one of a kind kind of experiment. I was trying, they actually turned out really nice. And then they have the glitter cord, shiny cord there. Yeah, so just email me and we'll get it taken care of. Right now I'm working on a hat. The hat is a free pattern. It is completed using half double crochets. And this one is going to be sized as an adult large, no, adult medium. Now I do try to do my best on shipping costs, but unfortunately the USPS is increasing postage, uh, the cost of postage all the time. The most recent thing they've done is add a, it's not a surcharge, I think they're calling it a premium. So you pay the regular postage and then it's kind of like, um, what did, how did they phrase it? it um, it's, it was enacted, I believe, the beginning of October, and I think it's it's noted as a seasonal surcharge or high demand surcharge, something crazy. Um, so I do try to use other apps to get better pricing on the postage because I know. Um, that's also a thought, you know, when you're doing your holiday shopping or gift shopping or whatever kind of online shopping. Um, but as a small business, um, it, and just as many other small businesses, it's hard to offer free shipping like a large vendor might. I do try to do my best on getting the best pricing on shipping though. Okay, so this I believe was round 17. I need 21 rounds of this 72 stitch. So this is 15, no, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yep, so we're starting 18. Number 18. Row 18. Sorry, I'm trying to move over my little hippopotamus. There he's cute. And then I have this little avocado. Maybe I should try it with both hands and put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. How this works. There we go. Oh, there's a cute little avocado. This Black Friday, discover all Miss Lynn inspiration of Patsy. Become a premium member for just a dollar thirty nine and get an entire year of access to hundreds of creative knitting.
Today I'm working on a hat. This is going to be an adult medium ear flap hat. And I'm using Karen uh, Cakes. The color is Blackberry Moose. And the weight is a four weight yarn. And for this project, I'm using the H hook. Hopefully you guys can give me a follow, tap the screen for likes. I know there's a lot of people going live today, so a lot of competition as far as um, audience engagement. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you guys for coming in. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the follows. Always great to have you guys also um, engage in the commentary there. Let me know where you're from, what your favorite projects are, past or present, doesn't matter, or which one was actually your most challenging pain in the butt. And then did you conquer it or did you give up? Or maybe not uh, give up. Put it on hold, perhaps indefinitely. I had a blanket like that once. Not even kidding. It was on hold for 15 years. Mostly because my kids were small and I just was busy doing so many other things. And my most recent super challenging, I decided it would be a great idea to make an entire blanket out of Tunisian crochet, which is fine if you make pieces and stitch them together. But I decided I would just make one solid piece. Oh, Lordy, that felt like it took an eternity. But I got it done. I had one for my daughter, one for my son. This yarn is 80% acrylic and 20% wool, so it will be a little warmer, and I am in Southern California. I live inland from San Diego, so it does get cooler at night, but um, I didn't want to make this hat too, too heavy duty because it doesn't get that cold. Maybe if it's windy, but this with the ear flaps will be nice to keep the chill off of the ears. And then it will have braided ties at the bottom of the ear flaps. And this is the first time I'm making this particular one. So thank you so much for coming in and joining me. Feel free to give me a follow. Next time I go live, you'll be notified. I work on lots of different projects with crochet, as well as machine embroidery and my sewing machine. Let's set a goal for today. Oh, fire. Let me see. What might I require? What might the pumpkin pie is super cute, the rose, the fire... Um, let's do the pumpkin pie. Yeah. It automatically sets to 20. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Thank you for joining me today. Appreciate it.
and I have exactly zero likes so if anybody would like to be the first that would be amazing Swift one on three I just uh, followed you so thank you for coming in Katie K I see you're in the live right now if the information that they're showing at the top of the banner is correct Tap the screen once, twice, three times. I will not end this live with zero likes. Actually might uh, join one of my other creators on here. We shall see. But I'm working on this hat and then I need to determine what color I'm going to use next on my Sophie's Universe because I'm working on Sophie's Universe and I am going to be working on a round that has a lot of exposure so I want to have a color that really pops adds a lot of flair to the project but I'll need to look at the rows I've already completed to see which color will be a good complement and a good contrast. Looks like the neighbor is going to have some gardening work done. Okay, so I'm finishing up around 18 here. This is um, an ear flap hat created with half double crochet. And it is the, this, the round that I'm doing right now is completed using 72 stitches. So I want to make sure and keep it consistent, not accidentally adding a stitch or taking a stitch out. So, okay, let's just count real quick. So, this marker indicates row 10, so 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and I'm starting row 20. And then it uh, goes up to round 21 with the same stitch count. And um, well, I had the pattern open, but apparently it decided to close itself. That's fun. All right, why don't we just look it up again, apparently. Pattern. My goodness. I tried a Google search and then it opens the news article. So the pattern is online and it is free and it is sized for many different sizes <clears throat> newborn toddler adult and even within the adult it is um sized for small medium and large so each different pattern will give you the stitch count for those okay so after round 21 it says the hat should be 7.75 inches in height. So let's just see how that progress is coming along. Because if it's not, then I need to add more rows. Ooh, I think it'll be perfect because I need one more row. All right. Get a little lemon drop here to help my throat and my voice. And then, 
once the hat is completed, then the instructions for the flap or two flaps are separate. So they're not integrated into the hat. They're attached later, I think. Oh, it actually is added right directly onto the hat. But you fasten off the hat and then start with the flap. So um, it gives you the stitch count or location so that you know how much to <clears throat> put between each flap. So like, um, let me show you what I mean. So let's say it says start here, like any old random place because it's just a round hat. Start here, make the flap, say, 10 stitches wide or more, whatever it says, and then you have that flap there, and then it'll say skip over however many stitches to start the other flap. So then you'll have both integrated right onto the hat, which will be interesting because I'm using this variegated yarn, so we'll see how it um, works up to and what color it will be. I might do a forced color change to make it more um, blended so there's not a stark contrast, although there's a stark contrast here. We'll see. Welcome, welcome. And still zero likes. Anybody out there? Anybody can hear me? Anybody? Anybody? Did you join the stream and then go take a nap? One like. Just one like. That's all I need. Don't make me give it to myself. I wonder how that um, affects the algorithm, if I give myself the likes. Text, but I'll do that later. All right, so who do we have here? Uh, Swift, Swift, Swift one, Jake. All right, Jake, Swift one, awesome. Thanks for joining me. I am probably going to, oh, I think I do follow you. I just followed you actually. So then we slip stitch join here, and I believe this will be our last round. One more round. <clears throat> so this is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, one more, 21.
Welcome, welcome. Thanks for popping in. Today I'm working on a hat. This is going to be a an ear flap hat. So once I make the body of the hat, then I will start with adding on the ear flaps. I should be almost to the join. Okay, I think I'm there. And it's just transitioning to a new color, so that's cool. All right. And at that note, I am going to take a break hopefully get this video processed and uploaded to YouTube. All right, thank you so much guys for joining me. I have to give myself some likes because I'm not leaving with zero likes. I don't even know what the algorithm does for that, but hey. All right, have a great day.